Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video where we look at my plans for Game Week 26. But before we do that, let's see who did well in the Mini League for Game Week 25. Top scorer this week was Othman BLH with Othman FC with 111 points. But also on 111 and fortunately on the same page is Ziad Braham. I hope I got that right with Tunguna. So let's look at the top one first, Othman FC. Treble Captain Harlan for 30, Saka for 15, Watkins 13, Solanka and Walker got 12, Virgil van Dyke got 10, Gabriel 6, Foden 5 and Diego Jota 4 and there were no points on the bench. As for Tunguna, we had Treble Captain 30 for Harland again, Watkins 13, Saka 15, Solanke and Walker 12, Gabriel 6, Keller in goal and Foden with five, Diego Jota for four. Then on the bench, we had Raya for six. So that keeper choice was 50-50, so that's absolutely fine. Top of the league and better than any content creator, we have BV with Giga Chad FC. They managed 91 points. That was with Treble Captain Harlem with 30, Saka with 15, Virgil van Dyke with 10, Gordon 8, Gross 8, Foden and Darwin both got five. And there were six points left on the bench there with Gabrielle. As for me, I'm all the way down in 226th. I just managed 75 points. I had 20 from Haaland as captain. Saka 15, Watkins 13, Gabrielle 6, Garnaccio and Darwin 5. The reason I didn't triple captain was Haaland was just back from injury. There was the whole thing with his grandma. I thought there's a chance he's going to miss a game. So it was a marginal call, but I thought a little bit dodgy. And I thought if he gets 14 points or fewer, I count that as a victory for not triple captaining. So for him to get 10, I'm happy enough with that. And I had no points on the bench, so that was good. So a red arrow, that's four in the last six game weeks. But it was quite a small red arrow. And I'd have absolutely taken that before the game week. Given that I wasn't triple captaining, I had one Liverpool player. And a lot of managers had two or three. I, I did have Becker, but he obviously wasn't going to play. So I am actually happy with that red arrow. I feel good about that. So there I am. I'm 28 points to the wrong side of half a million. Just 11 points in front of the 1 million rank. And 303 from top spot. That means if I score about 24 points a week more than top spot between now and the end of the season, I can still win the whole thing. 1,246 subscribers. Thank you very much to everyone who subscribes, leaves comments, likes, and most importantly of all, watches the videos. So if you go to the FPL Game Week website, you can look at the Content Creators League. And current top content creator of someone who I like to watch is FPL Fran with 1662. In second place is the ever useful Ben Krellin. He posts very useful information about double game weeks, blank game weeks. Mark Southerns is down in sixth. I'm all the way down in 69th, which is now a fair bit worse than as, but at least I'm still doing better than Suj. As for transfers, a bit of a dilemma, a bit overwhelmed this week with my choice. So I'm going to get rid of Darwin and the sensible thing to do is to bring Solanke back in. Game's not great this week, he's got Man City, but then he's got Burnley and then the double game week of course, he's got Luton and Sheffield United at home. So I definitely want him for game week 28, assuming he doesn't get injured, but I am tempted this week to bring in Hoyland instead. They're at home to Fulham, Man United, so I feel good about that. That means I'm booking in a transfer probably for next week. The obvious thing is then Hoyland, I move him on to get Solanke. However, I would have the choice of doing Watkins or Haaland instead. Now there's four players on the screen at the moment, and there's, I don't know, maybe a, I would guess an 8%, maybe a 10% chance at least one of those is going to get injured this weekend which will then help to make the choice up for me. Of course, we hope none of them get injured, but the choice may get made for me. If I do the Haaland move, then I'll probably do lots of other moves. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if I take a minus four or minus eight for game week 27. But for this game week, I'm not intending to take any hits. So how my team, I think, may be lining up is I'd have Haaland away to Bournemouth and he'd get to wear the old mule hat with his mates De Bruyne and Foden in midfield. Saka would be vice-captain at home to Newcastle with his mate Gabriel in defence. I'd have Garnaccio at home to Fulham with his mate Hoyland up front. 
And then I'd have Watkins at home to Forrest. So a lot of these, I think, could be getting good points there, potentially. And I've got Dubravka away to Arsenal with his mate Trippier. Now, Newcastle, as we know, has probably got the worst defence in the league, or one of the worst defences for sure. Arsenal, one of the best attacks, if not the best attack. So that game's got nil-nil written all over it, so I could be in for two, three clean sheets there. So a nil-nil would definitely suit me. And then I've got a stupid man at home to Everton, hoping he's going to play, get 60 minutes, get an assist, come away with 10, 12 points. That'd be nice. And then on my bench, Becker, who's injured. And I've got Senesi. So if a stupid man doesn't play or De Bruyne doesn't play, there's some doubt there, then Senesi can come on from minus one for the thrashing. And then Palmer and Doughty, I'm keeping them, but they're doing nothing. As for the background picture, be surprised if any of you got this. One of the first films I saw at the cinema was E.T. That was back in 1982. And there's a certain actress in that called Drew Barrymore. And it's Drew Barrymore's birthday today. I think she's 49. Obviously, she didn't look like that back in 1982. But I thought you'd rather see her looking like that than as like a six-year-old child or whatever she was at the time. And there we have it. That's what happened in game week 25 and my plans for game week 26. Let's hope we all get green arrows and get a very good score. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>